there's a dent there. What's that mean? Great question. Let me come show you. Let's wait. So Hannah, what do you think a bear eats? Um, maybe like deer and marshmallows and hamburgers. But they like dog food too. Yeah, so not quite. Bears are omnivores. So they eat both plants and animals. But they really like roots and leaves and berries. And they also eat salmon and other meats and nuts. They don't really like things like marshmallows, human food, or stuff like that until they've tried it before. So if a bear gets some human food, they'll be habituated to that food and become reliant on that. So if they like eat marshmallows, they're just going to hang out around a campfire? That's exactly what's going to happen. And that ends up hurting them a little bit because they end up being closer and closer to your campground and hanging out with humans. And that endangers both the bear and humans. So what ends up happening is they have to put um, euthanize this bear so that it doesn't cause any trouble for people. And that's where we get the term a fed bear is a dead bear. So if I put my food in my cooler, right, that's okay because it's got a lid and you shut it and it has a latch on it. I mean, that's a little bit better, but not quite. Bears are still smart enough to open up cooler lids. Some bears can even open car doors. So your safest bet when you're camping is to keep your food locked up in your car out of the way. But what do I do if I'm camping in the backcountry or not near my car? Great question. So in the backcountry, you have two different options. The first is to buy a bear canister. And this is just a tube that you can twist open and put your food in and twist close. It's something that a bear doesn't know how to get into. And you can keep it upside down away from your campsite while you're camping. Our second option is to do a bear hang. You hang your food up in a tree out of a bear's reach. That sounds pretty hard. It's not too bad. Come on, I'll come show you. So for a bear hang, what you're going to need is some string, a long bit of rope, and something heavy to tie at the end, like a rock or a bag of some of your food. Right here I have a sock full of some rocks in it that we'll use as a weight. You're going to have to find a tree at least 100 feet from your campsite. You don't want your food right above your tent. And you're going to need to find a tree that has a branch about 12 feet tall and go 6 feet out from the trunk. And what we're going to try to do is get this sock over the branch to hang like this. You want it six feet, about six feet out from the trunk, and then you'll take this end of your string and be able to move it up and down to tie your food to it. And this side, you tie up to the tree. Okay, I get it. You have to be careful not to let a bear eat human food because it can hurt them. That's correct, you got it. If I have more questions, where can I learn more? So if you have more questions, stop by here at the Visitor Center. Anyone in a blue shirt is more than willing and totally able to answer any of your questions. We're open every day from 9.30 to 5. Stop on in.